the f***ing muskrats <laughs> ruined our pond. Hey, one of these traps is down, dude. No, what the? Oh, wow. that's that's no way. Oh my god, we got a double, dude. Last time we tried to fill it up, it's all going out to the neighbor's place. The neighbor's pissed. The muskrats burrow holes, and now there's a channel going from our pond oh. down to the neighbor's, so we have to do something now before it freaking blows our whole dam out. So we're gonna dig down, put a tarp down, fill it back up with dirt, and then Abel and I are gonna set like three muskrat traps, and we're gonna kill this son of a bitch. All right, tarp's going down. Time to set some muskrat traps. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Morgan's World episode. Today, we're on the property again. As you can see, we got a problem. We got muskrats in the pond, damaging our pond, and they're a nuisance. They gotta be dealt with now. I'm super lucky to have Abel here to help me. He's setting, we're setting foothold traps on a piece of wood and we're gonna float it in the pond and use apples for bait. So I got my first foot trap here. Ooh, that is a stiff trap. Might be too much for a muskrat, but we'll see. I'm gonna hit a nail in here because we're gonna anchor this thing to the bottom of the water with some rebar just so that it doesn't float to the edge and let a, a dog doesn't get caught or something. All right, Abel, that's good, man. You got plenty of rope now. I'm gonna just use this rebar we have as a boat anchor. I want to get that your boat into the water. We should actually just put it in our pond, huh? Yeah. Let's do that today. We'll put our freaking little boat in the pond. First time ever in this boat. It's not a bad boat. No, it's a good boat. Floats. Yeah, it floats. good. I'm like... Carefully. Oh, it's there it is. Not that deep. Not that deep here. Don't mind the oil in my pond. Oops. What? Hey guys, this has nothing to do with the muskrat trapping, but my goat is riding the sheep to get apples and this happened the same day, so I had to throw this in there. And then of course, you know, I might as well throw in the rest of the sheep while we're at it. This is at our property. We were chilling, have, I was having a beer and uh, the sheep decided to join me, you know. All right, so we are at the house, just got off work and we're gonna go in the boat and check the muskrat traps because something's up. All right, so grab the uh, two by four. Pull up on that wire. Pull up. Come on, keep pulling. Oh, we got him! We got him, dude! High five! Yeah! Good job. There you go, guys. Perfect foothold. Got him right on the foot. And that's what you want to do is make it to where when they uh, get caught, they drop off. Hey, well, get in here. Tell them what happened. Well, guys, I pulled it up. It was heavy, like something was on it, and it, it was the muskrat. Wow, that worked really well. We'll pull them out of here and get to land. We're gonna go ahead and reset them just in case there's any more, but this trap works. This platform trap always kicks butt. We'll set it right at water level there. Put this board back in here. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to oar back and put bait. All right, there we go. I can't do it. And we'll set the next one. All right, guys, we're coming up on the first one. It's set off. 
But nope, no leg in it, Abel. You're right. Nothing. Yeah. All right, let's see. Is it heavy or light? It's heavy. Oh. Pull it up. What do you? Is there nothing on it? Oh, there's a tail. We got him. We got him. No way. I see. saw the tail. What? Oh. Oh, he's alive, huh? Why? Is he alive still? No, he's dead. Good job, Abel. I knew. Got him by the back foot. Hey. Man. Crazy, dude. You got two muskrats in two days. Alright, guys. Uh, boys are with mom right now. I'm home by myself. And it looks like the traps are down again. So let's go check the scrap traps and uh, see if I got something. Shifting in to the trap number one. They're both set off, so. Interesting that we've already gotten two and we still have, uh, and we still have traps set. This thing feels heavy. Oh shit, got another one. Muskrat number three, guys. Muskrat number three out of my little pond. This is crazy. At this point, like, how many am I going to catch? I kind of feel bad for these little guys. But the problem is, is if you don't let them drown, they will literally chew their legs off. And I feel like that's super inhumane. So they have small lungs. They, they die in about 20 seconds or so. And uh, it's just better to to do it that way but they're destroying the pond and man I feel kind of bad I've let them live here for a long time but it's time to go and going time it is so there's number three little muskrat and uh, I'm getting my trapping wings back man it's been a while muskrat squeaking in the dead of night muskrat's time to say good night hopefully I don't chop oh this is not not the way you want to do that. Not on your leg. You can't. But it's stupid. This is hard. And we're just setting the apples on it, just like that. That one's. That might work. If you want a good evening drinker, try the freaking Bud Light seltzers or the freaking uh, um, Coronas or White Claws. They're all good. And uh, freaking check out the freaking merch drop. Haley's selling some soaps. Etsy link down below. She's going to be freaking rotating stock. And uh, you guys going to want to check that out because there's some awesome soaps. And she doesn't let me touch them because I'm too dirty. I'm a plumber. Take a hundred dollars, turn it into pillars. You don't wanna bother the man with the timbers. Papers don't enjoy, turn them into ashes. You don't wanna bother, smoke a little more. I hope that boy keeps fed, trusting all his soul and losing all his head. Rusty as it shows, he gonna break his legs. Standing toe to toe with a brand new nemesis. My thoughts up in the twist like the spliff you inhaled. I ain't missed, it's a lift off till we land in here. Can't resist really any of them bags on it. Cupid keep telling me the crash on it. Ain't a lie, sleepy eye, no disguise. I'm feeling fly, I'm on my mind most of the time. Don't you rip the tags off. I'ma die here buried in a glass coffin. Friday night, I'm the man who they trash talk. Uh. Anyways, I'm gonna slam this thing. Hey guys, and and you have to check out my videos also. First time we have a professional camera woman behind this the camera. Gonna go check these scrap chaps again. Something funky though. Ow. Dude, that's four muskrats, and you think there might still be another. Ooh, I knew I saw someone. Pull up that wire. 
That's the first time on this trap. Oh, yeah! Dude, hold him up. That's a big one right on the head. Oh, oh my God, I've never caught one <laughs> like that. It's a foothold trap, but that works better. Oh! Dude, hey good job, guys. Abel. I wanted to do that anyway. Dude, River, you see that? High five, River. Yeah! I cannot believe we've gotten four muskrats out of this pond. That's a big one, too. Four muskrats. Hey, you guys. So, I guess we'll set them again. Man, at this point, I'm feeling pretty good that we've, uh, we're eliminating the problem. All right, Abel, start cutting apples. I'm gonna get this trap set. You wanna put the trap to where it's just enough in the water to hold the apples, but deep enough to where they they think they kind of have to use it. Be very careful with these because it's a good way to get hurt. Kind of like, about like that. Good job, After dude. a good day of trapping efforts on muskrats, they uh, sat by the sheep and had some popcorn with the sheep on the farm. Good day. Checking the traps in the morning. It looks like, looks like the trap might be gone. So let's see what we got. I think we got one. Yeah? <laughs> Brad, bring that trap up. Let's see what you got. Muskrat. Number five, dude. Oh yeah, perfect catch, right on the foot. Awesome, look at that fatty. This is the smart one that's been getting away for a long time. High five, dude. Yeah, I can't believe it. No, I said there's another big one. That's five muskrats out of the pond. No, that's six, because we caught another last time. Yeah. All right, Abel, let's check them again. There's one that's set off, so that seems like something's been here. That the board's on, I think. Uh-oh, too far. Oh, wait, maybe we got some. No way. I don't think so. I think we just got spoofed. Yeah, I think they're both up there. All right, what do we got? No! Oh, no trap. Oh. Hey, one of these traps is down, dude. No. Oh my gosh, check that trap. Careful, this one's still... They're both down, dude. What's going on here? No, what the... Oh, that's... That's no way! Oh my god, we got a double, dude! We got a double, high five. Are you kidding me? Six, seven, and eight muskrats. This is the wildest moment. Is that crazy or what? Hold those up and tell them what happened. It's so tight. I, I knew this was heavy, but we got doubled off with two traps. Oh, jeez. Let me get a picture of you guys. Oh. The pile of muskrats, it just got two muskrats bigger. If you want to know how to trap pond muskrats, check this out because uh, we had no idea we were going to bomb them this bad. Um, anyways, we just got out of the pond and freaking Abel and River and I and Haley, we trapped freaking seven muskrats out of the pond. <laughs> and our pond's not even that big. So. so we put a platform out, set some apples on it, put some foot traps on it, and it's just every couple days one or two muskrats uh we just had a double we're gonna set it again because there might be more and we'll keep you posted in our next videos but for now we're gonna end this because seven muskrats is a lot we've been at this for like two weeks now and uh it's they just keep coming so unbelievable abel what do you have to say about trapping them well guys this is very hard just you know rub apples on the boat and How many were we only catching in one day? Well, normally like one, one every other day or so. Yeah. It's 
couple days it was every day um but yeah anyways it's pretty crazy we uh we nailed the muskrats i think we won just keep trapping them until there's nothing left because they like my pond it's steep down to the neighbor's place and so when they start burrowing he calls and says it's flooding his place out so i have no choice but to trap them with the boys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe and we'll bring you more content just like this